Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jungle Naps. So this is the start of my first video, which is a series, and I really wanted to do seven days of holiday sleigh to get y'all ready for your holiday parties coming up, any Christmas parties, any New Year's parties. So it will be seven days of makeup related slash beauty related videos, and it'll be going up every single day starting from now and uh yeah you know what it's gonna be lots of fun so before we get started of course i'm gonna ask you guys to please subscribe if you aren't a subby already and make sure you go ahead and click that little bell so you can go ahead and get notified every time i put out a new video and as always if you like this only if you like it give it a thumbs up and uh, yeah, I was really going for this cool little gunmetal vibe on the eyes and I really wanted to do berry lips. It is a very bold look, but you know what? This is holiday glam. You know, you gotta, you gotta like step your game up a little bit. So I hope you guys like this and uh, let's get started with the tutorial. All right guys, so I'm going to prime with my Bay, my Smashbox 24 hour eye primer. My lids are really oily, so I always gotta make sure that I have a really good base. And then I'm gonna go in with uh, my Kat Von D powder brush, and I'm just setting this with uh, Maybelline's translucent powder to go ahead and really like make sure it's not tacky. And my first eye color here is going to be a transition color. This is Isabel from the Makeup by Mario palette that he did in collaboration with Anastasia Beverly Hills. And then I'm going to go ahead and use Brooklyn from the same eyeshadow palette. It's such a nice dark blue base and it's really going to go well with what we're going to add next. So really make sure that you get that all over your lid and uh, you really don't miss any spots. And now I'm taking a clean blending brush and just making sure that I blend that transition really well. All right, so this is the color Gunmetal. It's a liquid eyeshadow from Absolute New York and it's so freaking pretty, you guys. So I'm using their applicator that came with it to just get it all over the lid. And then I'm gonna go ahead with this flat, um, it's actually a concealer brush, but I use it for eyeshadow. And I'm gonna make sure that I get more of like an even base and I smooth out any harsh edges. And it's really good for just, you know, being a little bit more precise. So this brush here, I love this brush, it's like a dollar, and um, I'm using this to smoke out my lid, and I'm using Activist from the Tartlet and Bloom palette, and I'm using a really light hand here. And now I'm using a clean MAC 217 to just blend that towards the middle of my eye. And you know, if you mess up or you just gotta clean things up, use a clean makeup wipe. Ain't no shame, girl, ain't no shame. <laughs> so this liner that I'm using, this is from NYC. And it's just a really easy liner to use. It's cheap, I love it, and it dries to be like really matte black. So I'm doing more of like a more prominent um, liner. And of course, we gotta highlight those inner eyes. I'm using Funny Girl from the Tartlet and Bloom palette. And it's a really nice, just, you know, subtly goldish shade that just really makes those eyes pop. Now it's time to prime. We gotta move on to the face. This is the Tarte Clean Slate Primer. I've been using this for forever, if you guys have been following me for a while. And it's really good for mattifying your face. Just make sure that you rub it in. Once you add that foundation, you won't see that white cast. So this is the Cover Effects foundation that I'm using. It has a really nice natural finish, like natural matte finish. 
And now I'm adding concealer. This is the Tarte Shape Tape in the color Dark. And you know we gotta blend it in. I'm using that Real Technique sponge. Okay, now it's time to bake. But if you're like me, don't make a mistake. And I'm blending in all of the normal areas. And I'm just gonna let, like, wipe it off. I didn't even let it stay for that long. I immediately wiped it off. Cause I don't wanna look cakey, you know? It's not a cute look for me. <laughs> and I'm using the Maybelline setting powder for this. And now I'm warming up the face with my MAC Pro Longwear powder. All right, now I'm using my Girl Lane bronzer to warm up my face even more. And I love this bronzer because it has like a nice reddish little tone, you know, earthy tone. For blush, this is the NARS color in Dolce Vita. And I really like this a lot. It's a really subtle blush. It doesn't have like a ton of color payoff, so you really gotta like build up with it if you have this color. For highlight, I'm using Becca. This is Topaz. And I love how a stippling brush just gives a really subtle sheen. That's what I'm really going for with this. And of course, we got to highlight the center of the nose. So super important. And I really wanted to go with berry lips for this. This is Anastasia Beverly Hills in the color Sad Girl. It's one of my all-time favorite lip colors. All right, so that's it for this little look right here. <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to go ahead and come back again tomorrow and see what tomorrow's makeup look is. If you guys aren't already, follow me on my Snapchat and my Instagram. Of course, all my handles will be up above. And I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!